This pair of mangoes just sold for 500,000 yen. That's almost $4,000. These are not just any mangoes. They are Tayo no Tamago, or Egg of the Sun. Stunning, plump, red, perfectly unscratched, and incredibly sweet mangoes that are farmed in the Miyazaki Prefecture of Japan. Every April, the best mangoes from the prefecture are auctioned off at Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market. But although farmers in Miyazaki dedicate an entire year to preparing these mangoes for auction, there's no guarantee that the fruit will fetch such a high price. That's because, before reaching the auctioning table, a mango has to be perfect, inside and out. So why are Tayo no Tamago mangoes so difficult to grow? And what makes them so expensive? Mangoes farmed in Miyazaki are from the Irwin mango variety, a type often referred to as apple mango, as it turns red when ripe. Irwin mangoes are actually pretty common and are also grown in other parts of the world and sold at much lower prices. This is because the exclusivity of Tayo no Tamago is not tied to which type of mango it is, but rather to the care it receives. In order to generate buzz at the auction, a mango needs bees. To increase their odds of success, Farmers like Takuya usually rent bees during the flowering season. These are flowering mango plants. Bees play a crucial role in the pollination of the plants, as without them, mangoes would not grow as big as desired. If a plant keeps flowering as the farmer wants, it can survive as long as 35 years. Takuya's plants are 20 years old. However, even if bees do pollinate the plants, it doesn't necessarily mean that all mangoes will qualify as Tayo no Tamago this season. Only those that are in good shape, visibly contain pits, and are in good position will be given a chance. To successfully grow one, everything in the greenhouse needs to run smoothly. Temperature must be constant, the room ventilated, the air dehumidified, and the mangoes protected from gravity. When everything else is in place, Takuya's priority becomes the sunshine. If a mango slumps into the shade, Takuya will tie it with a string to bring it back up. And to make sure that sunlight touches every part of the fruit equally, he developed these light reflectors out of milk cartons. あの、反射板をつけることによってですね、マンゴーの実の下の方まで色がつくんですね。この紫のところがあの熟すと赤くなるんですけど、緑の部分が多いとですね、この下の方が熟しても黄色色なんで、できるだけ全てを赤にするために
This year, he grew 9,500 mangoes in his greenhouse. They're now ready to be inspected to see how many of them have earned the coveted Tayo no Tamago title. The first inspection is done by human eye. Inspectors closely analyze each mango's appearance to ensure they are red all throughout, with no hints of green at the bottom. Then, a machine sorts them according to sugar content, weight, and size. These inspections sort the mangoes into five grades, two of which are Tayo no Tamago. The mangoes will now make their way to Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market for the auction. All the care and hard work that Takuya and other farmers in the prefecture put into their fruit are leading up to this very moment. The hope is to match or exceed the previous figure of 500,000 yen. あの、サイトの場合ってその時期に出す方って 5、6 The auction has officially begun at the Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market. This year's 500,000 yen is 300,000 yen higher than last year and matches the 2019 record. And the farmer who grew these mangoes is Takuya. <laughs> it's the third year in a row his mangoes fetched the highest price at the auction. They have been bought by a department store in Fukuoka. Today's outcome was a successful one for Takuya. But even in a country with a strong gift giving culture like Japan, it's not always guaranteed that such a luxury fruit will find a buyer at auction. だからこういうコロナの状況でま、いろんな消費者も物価が上がって大変だと思うんですけど、あの、頑張ってやっぱり市場の人がですね、ま、販売して中卸の人が買ってもらってですね、やっぱ孫ファンがいるんだなと。こ